that one. I just came to check, or not check. I just came to uh, help kind of set it in, do the lines for them. And the guys are gonna do the startup on it. I told them to call me if they need anything because I'm already used to these uh, Heatcraft Bond Intelligent units, which I do like uh, installing. They're super simple, but they, um, like with anything, they're digital, they're, they have um, control boards and like things can go wrong with them. So I've had issues uh, with one only. I think this is the fourth or fifth that we've done. So only one has given me a headache. I do have a series on that because we have to go through some troubleshooting and different things to get that one going, but it's been working ever since. But yeah, I gotta get out of here because uh, I have a lot of work to catch up on, mostly maintenance, as boring as it is, but uh, I'm going around just finishing that. We're still dealing with the acetylene shortage. Apparently the hurricane that came by recently through Texas or around this area hit somewhere up north where our supply house gets their tanks from. So the less brazing I do, the better, because I do not want to run out. I have uh, three tanks usually. I am down to like one and a half and I still got to wait another week or two to restock. So I'm trying to avoid wasting it. So that's why we're, we, that's why we reuse the line set and we just make sure we flush it out as best we can. Hey, now we're doing maintenance. It's later in the day. I got some ACs to clean out, so we're gonna get to that right now. So we got these two units. That's not ours. Uh, that's another office over there. So on these, you gotta pop the top off so you can clean them in and out, inside and out. Take off the panels on the outside. So I took off these. I still gotta pop the fan off there. Just be careful with the wiring and all that. And uh, give them a good cleaning. Got my cleaner and everything I need in that bucket. That's what I've been using for my PMs. And yeah. This one, I'll check the drain on this one. This one goes down. This one, oh, it used to go down. So there's a drain there and they decided to run it on the roof instead. It is draining, but I'll check it. Uh, I usually spray a little pan treatment for our refrigeration technologies in there because they do get dirty. This is our new PM contract, so I'm not familiar with some of these stores. Or they're new to me, but we'll get to know them, you know, once we are out here more often. I worked on this one a while ago, but the old unit, somebody came and installed a new one because we couldn't make it out, make it out here, and uh, actually did a decent job. They use uh, their bender for electrical. Did a good job of bending the uh, pipes over here. the street over there I don't know what's going on a lot of uh, units at this customers like locations uh, are fairly new they have a lot of uh, so assortments of different kinds they have a uh, carrier they have roots that's a dike in over there so they have different kinds of units I'm getting used to a lot of them I mostly would work on like trains and carriers. So I'm new to the Rude, the Daikin, and some other, other stuff that they have. Uh, worked on a little bit of Yorks. So I'm getting used to all those. And some have split systems because they're smaller off, uh, office type of uh, spaces. So I will show you guys why I started the, the my channel. Mostly because 
I see a lot of hacks out there, a lot of weird installs, a lot of crazy stuff. If I had started my channel a year or two ago, you would have seen some crazy videos. But the more accounts that I get uh, now, or locations, because we're doing franchises, they're bound to come up and I've showed them before. So this will be like the montage now for the roof hacks, basically like part two, because I've done another one that the whole roof was bad uh that one i believe was called roof hacks 101 it's an older video that i have and i think i found some pretty good ones now so i'll show you guys those while i finish up my maintenance here so check those out right now So I thought it was weird that this one was off when I got here, but it wasn't that hot in the building. But after having them off and turning them back on and it still has not turned on, and it's already been like 15 minutes or so, I'm gonna open it up, see what's going on with this one because it's not turning on. And it's 78 already, it's calling for cooling, but it's not on. So let's see. Alright guys, so here, let's see, basically I have to go through, uh, I do have three phase there for the blower, down here though, I'm missing power, so if you follow the line, goes here these are my lines there's a fuse box down here so more than likely we got a blown fuse I'm gonna double check the windings right now I already checked for shorts I didn't see anything there uh, nothing obvious and I'll look at my wiring right now and uh, we'll see what happened here So none of the fuses were, were tripped. I went ahead and dis, uh, turned off the disconnect. I found, just by checking my wiring, we got some burnt wire going on right here. So they have it jumped from the other contactor. And we got a burnt wire. So I'm gonna repair that for now. I'll check the contactors and we'll get that going for them. So we come in here. Uh, probably got these at Lowe's. I like that they stack, they never fall off the shelf. So we're gonna need a 
probably gonna use one of these like that, so that it's on the same connection because the other one was kind of burnt and I don't think I have any right angle ones so we'll just use these This is why I keep spares. I'll just use one of these. These have right angles on them. Right now, I'll check the gauge on them. Make sure we can use that. And we'll go back up. All right, so we did our repair. I took off the little cover. And the contacts are fine. This is a fairly new unit. They're not really pitted or anything. I don't see issues there. Check both of them just in case. The uh, connector I took off of the contactor it didn't look bad, but it was like very loose. So I'm hoping that's what the problem was. Maybe these connectors were on there right. And uh, I'll tell them if they want to follow up, they can schedule it because I'm really pressed for time today. They gave me a deadline to do these PMs. So this is just part of the preventive uh, maintenance. I noticed it wasn't working. We're gonna repair the wiring and get it going. If they want me to check all the wiring, I'll come back when I have time. I'm uh, pushing it as it is, because if I don't finish this week, I'm screwed. I got a deadline. I just wanted to follow their deadline and get paid on time and everything. So let me get this back together and we'll turn it on. So I was just making sure on the schematic that everything was right. Uh, they are jumped out to each other, these contactors. So I was checking the other two wires and they are kind of melting on each other. This one's cracking. So. Instead of replacing them right now, like I said, I'm trying to get out of here. They look good enough that I'm just gonna tape around it and insulate it well enough so that it's running and I'll tell them that we can do a follow-up and kind of go through this wiring, see if we have issues anywhere else. Uh, today's just a quick overview and getting it working. All right, so we're about to turn this back on. Not my prettiest work, but it's gonna, I just want it safe to turn on and we can try it out. So we will flip it back on. Ah. So everything came on, contact just kicked in because the thermostat was calling already. And uh, I'm sure it was working before. Just gonna check the temperatures real quick. And I just made sure nothing was touching on the wires, those three lines right there, the two black and the orange, as long as they're not touching because they were like melting together. And uh, there you go. Trying to get out of here. I am out of town basically. I'm an hour or so away from it, the nearest like main town, the main area that I'm from. So back together and get them some cooling. They had not called us in, so I'm sure they'll be happy. And I came back to do that uh, ream that I was working on with the uh, linked belt. So removed it, put the right belt. Also did some repairs on the insulation here because it was I didn't want it sucked up in the blower. So just threw on some sure tape, nothing fancy. Just sealed it uh, where it was coming off. And then I'm straightening out where the other tech must have ripped it out because it was super bent. And then I leveled out the drain. I don't know if you guys saw it in the video, but all this was disconnected and thrown over there and all the levels and stuff. So spent some time, cleared out the drain, connected everything back, leveled it out as best as I could and make sure we are draining. So, we're good. They got a working 
drain again. I'm trying to clean up and have everything working the way it should be. I stop here, those are not my units over there. So just making everything nice. I gotta, there's no water access, I had to use a portable washer. And I need to, well I don't have any more water but I'll have to clean this out too. Uh, but it's getting late so next time we'll kind of wash this off. So I gotta put all this back together. Hopefully it fits right this time. It's not perfect, uh, perfectly straight, but I was able to get it in. The panel itself is straight. Uh, you just lift it up in, push it, and then I had to like shimmy it down a little bit since it wasn't super straight, but it was straight enough. And um, we got the panel back on, repaired. That's all good now. Man, let's go before it rains. I'm here late again. Finishing up the ream. I appreciate you guys for watching. All of you that are subscribed, if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. Drop a like, drop a comment. Thanks again, guys. I appreciate all the support. Thanks for watching.